everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Goobies. It is, I almost actually had skipped out on this game. You only have one HP? Nah, twice as many enemies will spawn. That sounds terrifying. Uh, oh boy. So it is a really cute looking, oh my gosh, I am a weird dude. It is a weird looking bullet heaven that, uh, yeah, just landed in my inbox earlier today. I don't know when it's coming out or anything of that sort. I probably should look that up. Uh, but yeah, so everything is just like a cute little goo ball and also explodes. Radius of all AOE items by 50%. I'm hoping that includes my passive. I Whenever I kill an enemy, it's like a 50% chance it explodes, uh, which is really strong, mostly. My character needs a better fire rate. Let's see, but I, I'm gonna try and give this guy just like hella explosions and then some amount of bonus damage so he can just really go to town and explode the whole board simultaneously, if I can manage it. Also, it does seem to have some more HP. I just love watching this dude run. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, let's see. Hailstorm, 10%, attacks have a 10% chance to conjure a hailstorm. Sure. I don't know what that's gonna look like, but I'm hoping that is considered an AoE and will act accordingly. Do I do like 12 dam damage on a single shot? I think I might. Okay, Frost Bolts, Sonic Howl. Let's go for the Sonic Howl. It's not that it's not that good from what I can tell, but on the flip side, it is, I think, also an AoE. I hope. My main goal here is just to lure as many enemies as possible in so I can shoot them and explode them. Kind of. Now hopefully that Sonic Howl can be improved dramatically. Axel Pierce, damage of all AoE. Oh, these are all good. Attacks piercing one time would be nice, but let's let's go for the explosions. Because I think that includes my Sonic Howl. And if I can get that to be big and damaging... Am I, like, not shooting? No, I am. There we go. I just wasn't triggering the explosion. Critical Strike has a 20% chance of causing two slashes on a close enemy. Splinters, attack range. I kind of wish I could re-roll these. I'm going to go for this, because I don't, I don't crit. I think my, like, default crit rate is like zero to five percent it's very low and therefore not really worth investing into that that deeply I might die here unfortunately uh there is somewhat of an extensive meta progression system and i've barely invested into anything though here we go uh who Healing damage to enemies above 90% HP has a 20% chance to deal 25% of that damage again. Or attacks have a 2.5% chance of conjuring a meteoroid. I gotta go for that. Even if it's not the most useful at the moment, it'll be useful, I'm assuming, if I can get that percentage up. Or if I can give myself that attack speed, which I guess I'm going to have to invest into. Because right now, I don't do a whole lot of damage with my attacks. Also, that Sonic Pulse kind of pulls them in, almost. Which is not the best. Okay, how will every point... Oh! Yeah, I think I'm gonna upgrade that Howl. Because currently it doesn't do that much damage, but I, I think I could get it to do more. I mean, the fact that it's already attacking 25% faster feels like it could get really, really busted in a beautiful way. Kind of. I just have to not die before I get to that point, which is harder than it looks. 10%. Like, yeah, but also goo. And I have to be very careful. Oh, all damage pops an enemy up by a little bit. So if I'm below them, it's actually a boon. If I'm above them, it's dangerous. I will keep that in mind and probably invest in some movement speed. I actually kind of wish this didn't happen just because hiding an enemy, hiding enemies is hard enough. It's worse when your abilities pop them up into you. If they, 
Like, they kind of go back down, but yeah, it's not enough. Uh, you know, the problem is I desperately need EXP here, but I'm not getting it. You level kind of slowly in this one. Uh, I think maybe to make up, uh, or maybe specifically, ooh. You know, I haven't seen the Hailstorm. We also have Idle Hands, which is kind of tempting. I'm gonna go for it. It's not the best. Oh, a mam. I have not actually seen a mam as a boss fight yet. Looks like it's a little bit more of a proper bullet bullet hell fight, which is fine. The other boss is riskier. Okay, let's go for the attack speed. Because a lot of my abilities are triggered based on uh, attacks. I don't know if it's attacks triggering or attacks hitting enemies. Or whatnot, exactly. Like, will I proc more the more I hit enemies, the more attacks I have? Or is it just every time I shoot it might proc? I haven't really seen that hailstorm go. Hoping I could actually bring that to bear. Okay, Frostbolt. No, let's go for a little bit of regen. Because I don't need much, but I've been slowly getting hit by attrition. And I'd like to come out of that. I just, I need those explosions to go off. There's a couple of specific perks that get even more busted, uh, or that are even more busted. Part of it is every ability, or maybe not quite every ability, but a lot of the abilities scale the more upgrades you get. I am not see seeing that hailstorm that was mentioned. Yeah, I might, I might just get cooked here. We'll see. This guy's supposed to have a lot of explosions, and they're not going off. But I think I, I will try this again with a different uh, different guy. At least we get a new artifact. Everything's been dilated. Everything now moves twice as fast. That's an interesting question. I'm curious to see how that goes. Uh, one way or another, twice as many enemies will spawn seems really good. This seems terrifying. Does that include attack speed? Okay. Oh, enemies one shot by Dizzy Wizzy will explode. That's what it was. I'm gonna go with this guy though. He gets extra options and has better rarity. His damage is worse. Okay, yeah, speed mode is actually just faster. I dig it. Even the timer's faster, so really just everything has doubled. X have a 25% chance to chain to one enemy dealing six damage. That sounds really good. Let's go for that. I'm, I'm digging the speed. It's probably going to throw me off and I'm probably going to get killed, but it's fun in the moment. Uh, oh, this is a different chain lightning. Huh. More chain lightning. Yeah, so I guess we're just going to want to go for attack speed on this one. And just chain a bunch and see what happens. Uh, let's see, AoE, chance to go berserk, or more EXP. I guess I'm going to go for the small chance to go berserk for a while, just because what else am I going to do? Uh, 2% chance to make you go berserk for even more bonus damage and movement speed. Sure. There's a lot of proc effects in this one, which I feel like has some interesting potential. I'm curious to see how it goes. Because, yeah, there's a lot of on-death and on-hit abilities that could get kind of fun. We never... I never figured this one out. Hailstorm of 5. Do I want to go for the thick hide at the moment? Yeah, I keep my H HP up. Most of those options were just kind of okay. Though, maybe the split would trigger more chain lightning. Because what I want to, are things that trigger the chain lightning more. 5% chance to implode on impact, drawing in and stunning them for a little while, doing some damage. Now let's just go for the attack speed. Oh, wait. Luckily, I'm reasonably fast. 
Okay, radius, regenerate, worms. Or a chance to ignite. Oh. AoE fire on death. Oh, sure. I don't know how useful that's going to be. But my big issue at the moment is just lack of AoE. There's a lot of enemies because I doubled them. And while that ostensibly means double the EXP, it also means I'm slightly in trouble. Good for the spikes. That seems reasonably useful. Like, even unupgraded, it seems like there's a lot of them. Hello, Tree Hugger. Hugging trees is a chance of releasing a cluster of up to 30 EXP. I don't actually know if this is worth it, but there's a lot of trees that I can just kind of walk through here. Oh, you're new. I'm assuming Magmus... Oh, Magmus is that dude that I just one-shot previously. Was that on this run or was that on my test run? I have no idea. I've taken to playing Bullet Heavens beforehand, uh, just for a run or two, just to get that little bit of meta progression that I desperately need to actually get somewhere. More damage the faster you move. That actually seems reasonably helpful. I have no idea if that includes the doubled movement speed effect or not. Because that'd be kind of an amusing interaction of like, oh boy, you actually do move real quick in this mode. Therefore, your damage is actually really high with this one perk. It's possible it does. I certainly feel like I'm doing more damage than I was. Oh, these are all good. I'm gonna go for the piercing. Attacks pierce once. Oh, nice magnet. Uh, extra damage per HP loss. Alright, time to take a bunch of damage, but not die. There we go. Alright, so now I do oodles of damage. Obviously, there's some risk involved with being this low, but I have a little bit of healing. And strike through and some other stuff, and oh boy, that laser is death. I gotta up my regen. Otherwise, we are not going to be able to survive long enough to benefit from all the goodies being tossed my way. Ow, ow, dead. Dang. All right, let's, uh, let's try that again. Not an easy game, to be entirely honest with you. So, the chain lightning was good, the chain attack was decent. What we need, honestly, is big AoE. I guess let's go with that. Unfortunately, a lot of these are random chance, which is a little bit more impractical. Because once you get enough upgrades on them, they're solid. Enemies have a chance to convert into ghosts on death, dealing low damage to all nearby enemies. It, the problem is it's a 2% chance. That's not very good now. I'm gonna go for Pierce, even though that one I'm sure is actually probably decent. Because Pierce effectively doubles my DPS. 10% chance to explode on death. Or we could do the Sonic Howl. Both of these are good. I'm going to go for explode at the moment, just because. Sonic Howl isn't useful without a couple of upgrades. However, I can see that being quite good in a bit. Because if I get a couple of those explosions, I might be able to get a Cascade Death. Damage of all AoEs. Yeah. And that's a magnet. Piercing Boomerang. Extra damage for HP loss. Sure. Alright, there. Now we're going to be one-shotting way more of these little blobos. We might have actually been one-shotting them pri previously, but whatever. Okay, so we do have a base 5% crit chance. The Crush Ruby wouldn't be terrible. 
but I don't I don't level enough to like really have the leeway to mess around with multiple builds. It feels like you have to hyper focus here. I think now I'm gonna get the Sonic Howl. Okay. Chance to explode on death, dealing damage. And leaving a pool of fire, dealing more damage. That sounds pretty good. Could be really good at taking out the trash mobs. Like I said, a lot of these upgrades are actually really good once you can get a handful of upgrades on them. Because uh, they unlock extra bonus effects that make them way more interesting. Let's see. Now, I don't actually have the self-heal perk at the moment. I will need it, but I think I'm going to try and make... Or, I'm going to try and hyper-focus hyper on some things. Attacks have a 3% chance of conjuring the soul of a man every three time... Every time the soul pierces an enemy, an explosion will appear after its exit is dealing up to 10 damage based on the number of enemies pierced, or... Upon finishing a combo streak, an explosion of energy erupts from within, dealing damage equal to the combo streak. There's also Tree Hugger, which is interesting. This is cool. This is potentially really strong. I don't know. I don't actually know which, which one is better. 3% chance of doing an explosion is kind of low. But I don't know how many combos I'm triggering here. Uh, lava pool gets even better. This is why I wasn't too afraid of the twice as num uh, twice the number of enemies because boy, they explode good. Uh, let's go for Thick Hide so we can actually get some healing here because I am going to get toasted at least a couple of times. However, that Cascade Death effect is working. Okay, chance to ignite an AoE lasting for a little while. Sure. Holy shoot, these dudes with legs are quick. I might need to invest in some movement speed. Uh, idle hands or chain lightning? Idle hands. Okay. Uh, pierce, pierce twice? Yes. I died. Dang. Now let's retry that one. They were getting the explosions, uh, but we didn't quite have the durability, and taking a full laser to the face was brutal. Alright, so what do we want to do? I guess I'm just going to start with Thick Hide. It's not particularly amazing, but it's not terrible either. Okay, a chance to spawn, uh, to spawn a chain of two lightnings or chance to explode. This is tough. Because I like the explosions, those worked well. I just didn't have quite enough time at the moment. But I, I think the chain lightning is inferior to the chain explosion. This might look kind of similar to the last run or two. And because I, I feel like this is the way to win. I also probably should turn off that doubled enemies thing. Let's go for the attacks have a chance to summon the homing goo. The fire is on death versus this is just on hit. So I guess on death is actually going to be pretty viable considering. Okay, chain. I have no idea if the spiky rocks 
work in terms of, like, if they're an AoE or a single target. Okay, chance to explode. No. Let's just keep stacking some thick hide here. I haven't seen any upgrades that specifically increase my maximum HP yet, so I might just be stuck with what I've got. The boomerang isn't a terrible idea. I think I'm gonna go for the movement speed. Explodey balls. We go kaput. There we go. Oh, soul of a ma'am. Early. Okay, crit chance. Sonic Howl. I think I'm gonna go for the attack speed at the moment. Sonic Howl feels like something I'd like to invest in, but it's too weak at the moment for me to truly want it. Chance for the Meteoroid, yeah. Chance to convert into Ghost on Death. I think I'm gonna go for the Halo, though. Oh, there's a lot of enemies. All right, and it's Gaia this time. Sick. Gaia is actually much more fightable, as far as I'm concerned. The only immediate problem is most of my upgrades are currently invested pretty heavily into... Um, most of my upgrades are he heavily invested in... Ow. Explosions, and that's maybe not the best. Let's see. Let's go with solve, salved energy. Luckily, those tentacles only have a hitbox on the tip. Okay, how's Gaia doing? Not dead. Healing enemies? No. Pierce two times. Let's go for the soul of a man. Because that, I think, will be even better. Ow. Okay, I have healing and I scale in damage based on how healthy I am. Or unhealthy I am. So the more cheeseburgers I consume, the mightier I become, right? Ugh. Fortunately, I'm not in a very good position to actually hit the boss here. So it feels like they're just going to be harassing me to death. Oh, no. Ugh. Okay, 20% extra attack speed. Sounds good. The one problem is... Ow. Yeah, the problem is Gaia is particularly persistent here. And that extra movement speed actually makes it a lot harder to dodge. Okay, what do we want to do? Weaker poot. Yeah, let's go with that. I thought I was far enough away. There, I'm far enough away. Almost feels like everything got faster. I mean, of course I doubled the speed of things. Ugh. Can't take too many more of those hits. Dang it. Got wrecked. Okay. So I think the explosions on death, no, they're good. I I think it's just not useful against Gaia per se. So why don't we why don't we go for like a projectile piercing build? See what we can get. I could also try the one shot Kerblamo dude. 
but I don't know how practical that's going to be. So yeah, let's go for big splits and just try and make my projectiles do a bunch of extra damage. Uh, let's see, uh, Halo or Pierce? I think at the moment the Pierce is better. The Halo is great, but I think I need more to make that work. I'll just invest kind of hard in Fork and see what happens. Because I don't want to just keep investing in the exact same build over and over again. Uh, because that's foolish. Oh, that's tempting. I'll grab it just because it's high end. AoE, AoE, Frostbolt, or Attack Speed. I'm just gonna go fast on the, the Attack Speed and we'll just see what happens. Uh, let's see, Crit Chance, Attack Speed 20... Crit Chance is tempting. But I'm gonna go with the 20% chance to Splinter. We just wanna have a bunch of these. I just want to go for raw saturation fire. Let's see. Is there a setting I can change? Specifically, I wanted to see if I could turn off auto fire. Because the one problem with this is I can't specifically aim, therefore I cannot make any gaps. And it doesn't look like I can do anything else, which is unfortunate. I guess we'll go for the boomerang. Okay. Attack speed. The chance to go into a frenzy state is interesting. But I think I'm better off with just a flat 20% 20, 20 attack speed bonus at the moment. Halo again so I could boost my damage. As we get into these tougher enemy groups, my capability of dealing with them, well, there's the Halo, dips off tremendously. However, the Halo, even though it's obviously a little risky to be low on HP, uh, it's almost inevitable that I'm going to be low on HP. And so this gives me the actual opportunity to fight back. Okay, more attack speed. 30% chance of flint, uh, splinter on impact. I think I'm still going to go for the attack speed first and foremost. Okay, hugging trees. Yeah, let's go for the hugging trees. I don't hug a whole lot of trees here. I guess I'm gonna go for the explode on death. Projectiles do more damage. I'm hoping that applies to my splits. The hell is Zigrid? I don't know, it's firing a lot of AoEs at me. It doesn't have nearly as much HP as Gaia though, which is big plus. Increase your damage by 15%, yes. We actually have two enemies here. One is a unique, and one is a boss. So that was Bakarak. It gives me uh, an additional idle hands. I'm actually super down for that. And boss is dead. Extra AOE radius. Oh, well that, that kind of sucks. Because that was like multiple of it. I mean, we did get the on explosion death, so like it's not that outlandish to invest into it at this moment. Uh, damage, Sonic Hell. I'm gonna go for Halo for the time being, just because. And here's where things become abject chaos. 
in a way that I might not be able to deal with, but that's fine. Uh, ooh, that chain lightning is good though. I don't think we picked up any healing either, so I'm probably going to die momentarily. I might be able to pull this off. It's a good build so far. Idle hands, broken citrine. Increase your attack speed. Every time you have you attack, you have a chance to gain a stack of frenzy. Yep. Only problem is dying. Like, my damage is really good. Credit where credit is due there. I just don't think I'm going to survive the process. All right, let's quit out. Let's see if I can get uh, some meta progression. I kind of wish I could actually save these. Definitely don't want that one, though. Wait, upgrades are back out in the main menu. Okay, I've got 140. What do I need for... I want that, but I need this. Dang, I actually... Like, all of these are really good? I guess I'm just going to go for the extra EXP for the time being. Alright, do we want to try... Dizzy Wizzy again. Yes. Because now I understand how he works. We just need damage. That's harder than I you'd think. Actually, in retrospect, I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna bother with him. I think his um I think his perks are interesting but one shot. That means they have to be from full to nothing, and that feels really risky to me. Yeah, this whole double enemy thing is super blessing and a curse. I don't know how to feel about it. I do really like the scaling abilities, though. I think that's super cool. I think this is going to be one of those bullet heavens that's like absolutely stunningly brutal until I've accrued a certain amount of meta progression, at which point I become absurd. Uh, let's see. Chain or chain lightning? What's the difference? Chain lightning does slightly less damage, but chain lightning is great. But I like the fact that the simple attack speed buff uh, quickly turns into like legendary rarity the more you've uh, put into it because it is that good. Now I'm going to go for Fork. I don't actually know if Fork was that good. But it's reliable. And I think we do want the Explode on Death. Enemies are just too clustered all the time for me not to do that. I guess we'll go for the spikes. Okay, more attack speed. Because the faster my attack speed, the more I can proc everything. The lightning, the stones, and honestly, just damage. Okay, worms, splinter, halo. The other thing I should probably invest way more into is split. Now I'm going to go for idle hands. Okay. Chance of spy... Uh, even more rocks. Now let's go for the crush ruby this time around. I don't know if what all of my attacks can crit. I know my regular attacks can. I don't know if chain lightning can. My hope would be that everything can crit. Oh, balls. These are all good. Selfage energy is interesting. I'm going to go for the halo, though. Okay, even more crit damage. Radius of AoE items. Like, this is tempting. But I think I've had better luck not strictly going for AoE. Okay, let's 
do enhanced projectiles. Oh, you can actually see, by the way. This has no... These have little dots, which means that eventually they'll run out. This one's infinite. So this one doesn't scale in terms of effectiveness. It's just going to be the same no matter what. Go for the brisk capsule. The movement speed should be nice for rushing gaps. And just playing keep away. Because, yeah, there's a lot of openings that I should be at least somewhat seeking. Let's see. Oh, these are tough. I think I'm gonna have to go for Pierce. The extra halo effect seemed really cool. Seems really cool. But Pierce is Pierce doubles my damage. Or at least potentially does so. In a target rich environment, which uh this is very rich. Essence of Ziggurid. I just saw the uh the Lord of the Rings Extended Trilogy, and for whatever reason, I read this as Siege of I Isengard, and I'm like, yep, that sounds about right. Ooh. Slash, though. I'm gonna have to go for Thick Hide. I don't have a choice. Okay, so I, I'm not actually gonna try and kill Ziggurat here. Probably. Because I wanted to kill, I want to kill this little guy. Now. Twenty percent extra damage, sure. And now I can safely kill Zigrid. That EXP was a good bonus, and even more damage. That's good. Chain lightning strike. It's chance to spawn a chain lightning of four lightning, dealing six damage. Chance to also do another one. Yeah, I gotta grab it. I want the crit chance one. Here it is. Because I like that on crit slash nearby enemies for even more crit. Because I can see that being a fun accompaniment. Okay, so I'm pretty wounded here, which is not a good feeling. However, my damage is looking quite nice. So I might actually be able to make something of this. We, we will we will have to see. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. More crit. Probably worth it. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for Splinter. The Ahmad Soul or whatever it is isn't particularly amazing. In retrospect, it sounds cool, uh, but it tends to miss a lot from what I can tell. Alright, now we get Slash. I think I might have to turn off the double enemies thing. As funny as that is, I think I'm gonna go go with the uh, twice as fast though. Just in terms of speed, but I I think I need a lot more meta progression before I can safely do the times two enemy thing, or we really need to go for that AOE build. Yeah, let's go back to it. I can't. I can't escape my my desire for a target-rich environment. So let's go back to Wiggle Woogle, or whatever her name is, and uh, try and go for maximum AoE one last time. Because I, I think if I can pull it off, if I can get the right upgrades at the right time, I think we're good. I just have to actually 
you know, get it. Well, there's Sonic Howl at the very least. Not what I want, but we haven't seen what it looks like when it's fully upgraded, so who knows, it could actually be an incredible boon. that small explosion upgrade is that it triggers based on my attacks and so it isn't the most valuable though no matter what I'm going to need I don't know I wish it would trigger off maybe the explosions but I guess that could be really busted I guess I'm just gonna chip them down with a lot of little explosions until we get the, the really good one Let's see, do we want to do the tranquilizing mass? Sure. Oh. Wow, it w the tranquilizing mass was the correct choice. Oh. Piercing saw a blade around the player that gets launched on enemy hit, dealing damage. Let's go for the spiky projectile. Okay, Run Boy here is kind of scary, but the Tranquilizing Mass is actually saving me from a fair bit of grief. Grief. Okay, let's go for that healing. Because, yeah, Ch Chaseman, uh... He's really good at chasing me down. Mediocre AoE radius. I'll take it anyway. I have no choice. I mean, I do. I can say no, but why? Why would I ever say no to that? Halo is tempting, but no. Let's go for this. Oh, because those two little explosives now do a lot more damage. All right. It is Ziggurat again, who is a little spooky, but actually really good. Okay. Essence of Ziggurat. Essence of Ziggurat. I mean, we're fighting the man. We might as well follow his suit. Gosh, it feels like this first region went by really fast this time around. I wonder if it's based on number of kills. I mean, I guess it's double speed, so go figure. Unfortunately, I have, like, no good way of actually hitting Zigrid in this moment. definitely want to pick up some extra movement speed when I get the chance. I'm fast, but everything is fast here. Okay, 5% chance for Meteor. Chance of summoning... This is good. This might be better. This would actually possibly save me, but I'm going to go for the Regurgitated Goo. A 1 in 20 chance of doing a super explosion mash that homes in on nearby enemies is really good. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to die. Oh, movement speed. If I can outrun most of his meteors, I'm safe. I think currently I might be able to. I'm going to go for the implosion. I'm not actually sure what hit me on that one.
Okay. Unfortunately, we've only got him half down. One more movement speed perk would do the trick here. Okay, medium Sonic Howl. Or the movement speed. I I think we need the movement speed at the moment. The medium Sonic Howl is actually really tempting. Don't get me wrong. Unfortunately, some of my homing blasts will home in elsewhere. Oop. Damn. Uh, boy, I must have had a fraction of a hit point left. A fraction of a fraction. Um, two piercing saw blades or sonic howl. I'm gonna go for the piercing saw blades. One of those AoEs had uh, enemies in it. Like, Ziggy's... Dang. I think the issue... I need movement speed. We, um, I don't even want to think too hard about how that build could have gone. It was getting places. It just needed a little bit more, and I think it needed the on-kill explosion, but it never showed up. Uh, you know, I'm going to grab Halo. Even if, even if it's not particularly amazing, that bonus damage is huge for taking out some of the big chunkers. Okay. Goo is great. But I think I'm going to go for Girthed Up at the moment. We needed the range. Because again, if I can have... Axel Pierce or Halo. I'm gonna go for the Attack Axel Pierce. Even if the Halo is good, we don't need that much bonus damage for the first region. Whereas right now that that Pierce is super handy. There it is. I forget. Did I pick up the heal? I did not. We could also get Soul of a Mam or Essence of Ziggurat, but I think we want the expl. I think we just want the healing. Goofy as it sounds. Okay. Sapphire, spiky disc. Counts as an AoE. And is just kind of handy. Especially if I'm surrounded. Alright, there's Goo. Attack speed, damage of all AoEs. Attack speed is nice, but I'm kind of hoping not to invest too hard in, into it. I guess I'll have to if I want Goo to be anything worth anything. Ah, uh, let's go for Thick Hide. It also reduces the damage I take, which is pretty handy. As an interesting mid boss, as far as I can tell, it may it might just gout extra units. Periodically. Yeah, unfortunately, my sonic shout ain't in a good spot yet. It's giving me a lot of things that I don't need or want. Oh, Blobby's been slain. We also get some extra movement speed. Oh. Oh, the octopus, I think, was ducking me in. Medium Sonic Pulse. Extra 
movement speed. All damage dealt has a crit strike chance. Okay. So actually investigating crit works. Oh, I am going to die. Yeah, there I go. Dang. Absolutely stunningly merciless bullet heaven. And, like, the nice part is it's really quick, but it is rough. It feels like a projectile build has a huge amount of potential, but on the double enemy spawn, it's maybe not the best. Uh, let's do Essence of Zigrid. I'm just gonna be chucking my face at this wall until I can overcome. There's the Halo. Halo is good, but no, let's go for Thick Hide. I don't think I want to go for the Sonic Pulse. It's not that amazing. I think. I'm really curious about the saved energy. Because I think this is my combo meter. I feel like the explosion... ...that it would fire off should be much faster. Like, considerably faster. I, I don't know, it's it's one of those where it does feel like there's a couple of upgrades that are just, like, demonstrably better than the others. But you're very much at the mercy of RNG to give you what you need. That's not very good. That's just one damage. I know it scales better. I think I'm gonna go for the hide. I know Chain Lightning might not have been a bad move either. My problem at the moment is mostly just... There's a lot of enemies spawning and I am not killing them very quick. Uh, let's go for Implode. Tax Pierce once, yes. I think to some degree, if I want to make my ideal AOE build work, oh, that worked out. I'm actually going to need to invest in projectiles first. Like, really get my attack speed up. I still don't know what that does. Okay. And that is the not super friend wall. Go for the attack speed. Yeah, because we've got one in Pierce and the double shot, which reduces my damage a little bit, but I mean, you know, functionally, it seems to work really well for me whenever I get that. Radius, now let's just go for the extra explosions. Or, sorry, the extra projectile damage. Okay, crit chance. Even more projectiles. Because again, we've got pierce, attack speed, and proc hits, and some other things. I don't know if we picked up Halo on this one yet, but we haven't actually taken much for damage, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, do 20% chance of rock. Line this up a little bit. Kill him, see if we get to... Aha! Ripple Crush Ruby. I have... Gosh, I hope I actually picked that one up. Yeah, I did. Okay, I don't even... I think this is the level where it starts, like, doing the bleed effect, which is really nice. 
free hugger. Oh, I do have infinite energy on this one. Whoa, regenerate life based on the combo. I was not expecting that that would do anything more. I could do four, but I think I'm going to do spikes at the moment, seeing as I've already got a number of them invested. The fork is tempting if only because I have so many projectiles. Eh, I probably should have done that. Okay, now let's just go extra projectile oomph. All of these are good. I think I'm gonna have to go for the attack speed. Faster attack speed means more likely to cripes. Oh, another mid boss. I'm going to do one more. I, I think I have to. I, I'm equal parts having too much fun with this and also getting utterly crushed. And it feels like I just need the right combination. I think we need to ignore project uh, AoEs for a while. I'll pick up Explode, as that one works really well with Cascade Death. Um, but that's going to be the only, only AoE that I actually invest in. Otherwise, we're going to want... Attack speed, we're going to want piercing, crit, and a bunch of other things. Crit especially. Alright, get the regen. I'm taking a lot of damage there. I don't think I'm going to bother with the stored or the... Um, the storage combo meter whatever upgrade that one just never really felt particularly good to me like it was supposed to be healing me but i was not feeling it i don't know why i'm moving my mouse around this game is uh pure auto shot and i don't i don't think there's find a way around that idle hands which, as far as I can tell, just continuously goes. I'll be losing my damage, but I think it's fine. Sonic Howl, that. Let's go for Orb Duplicator. 5% more EXP is probably not that good. But I wasn't keen on most of those options. Go for the fork rather than the idle hands at the moment. Idle hands is tempting, but I don't want to reduce my damage too much. At least not without Halo or a couple other things to kind of make up for it. Okay, speaking of, do we want Halo? No, I'm actually going to go for the explosion. We haven't taken too much damage and I don't want to do so uh, intentionally for a moment. Oh, Bjorn has been slain. Oh, we get two idle hands. Oh no! Uh... I guess I'm going to go for the bonus damage because the game unpaused. I killed him at the least opportune time. Oh, good. It was kind of a safe route through. Crossbolts, hugging trees. Hugging trees is interesting. I just don't know what that chance is. And we need damage at the moment. It is Zigrid again. Okay. Uh, go for that crit move.
Uh, let's see. Damaging enemies above 95% has a chance of triggering that a second time. I could do that actually being really good. Especially if it gets sub uh, decent subsequent upgrades. The other question is, do we wanna do we wanna actually kill Zigrid here? Because I could wait it up, wait it out, and maybe get another mid boss. They show up every X number of minutes. The problem is Zigrid himself is kind of risky. Yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna have to kill the guy, or at least try. Because there's a, there's a different dude that shoots that is really easy to kite and ignore. Oops. Okay. I think I actually want to care about that. Where is he? There he is. Wow, I just went from a lot of HP to no HP. Because Zigrid hurts. Now, I could potentially kill Zigrid and then the mid-boss... I'm going to try and go for kind of both. Uh, do we want fork? Dealing zero damage. Okay. That slightly sucks. Okay, Zigrid's been slain. Bunch of crit damage. That's a good sign. Chance to split. Come on. Actually, there we go. Just a little bit of crit damage. It's not much. Alright. Well, I'm pretty wounded, and all of a sudden this is looking really dire for me. Well, mini bosses will spawn more frequently. Hey, that's useful. Freaking hard, though, but uh, useful. Goobies is neat. It's definitely brutal. I... Did I ever get out of the first zone, really? Not not too much. If I didn't have the double enemies, or maybe even the double speed, I think I would have had an easier shot of it, but it was more fun just uh, cranking it up. And I feel like I got a lot more meta progression by doing so, but I could be wrong on that one. One way or another, uh, Goobies is going to be out on June 30th, and I will be back for another video on it uh, when it does come out, because this is... It's... It doesn't do a whole lot new, but I really like the fact that there's there is a definitive feeling of pursuing a build here, um, and that every single thing to be upgraded here. Like I'm gonna bring you guys on this journey. You know, I was poo pooing the. Uh, let me switch these. Display capture just not gonna work. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Like I was poo pooing the fire thing, but enemies have a forty percent chance to ignite an AOE wildfire on death, dealing. Five damage per second for three seconds. Uh, deals up to double additional damage based on the number of enemies hit. Like, the fact that every single one of these kind of passive chains can upgrade uh, to do way more interesting things, if you, like, really, really hyper-focus and pick them up, that's cool to me. I, I don't think I've really seen that out of most other uh, bullet heavens. I think the closest would be, like, 20 minutes till dawn, where you would have kind of like chains within the same general category. This does that in a more linear fashion, but with a much broader amount, uh, which is something I really dig, and I want to play more of it. But for now, at least, uh, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new, uh, rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.